Now in this part of the question, we're asked to find the sum of the terms 100 times 2 to the power k for k going from 1 to 10. So how are we going to do this? Well, whenever I get sigma notation, what I'd always encourage you to do is simply write out all the terms in the series. So for the first term, when k equals 1, substitute k equals 1 into here and we've got 100 times 2 to the power 1. Then we've got plus because it's the sigma sign here and we substitute k equals 2 in so we get 100 times 2 to the power 2. Put k equals 3 in and we have plus 100 times 2 to the power 3 and so on. And We're going to keep doing this for all the terms up to k equals 10. So for the final term, when k equals 10, we're going to have plus 100 times 2 to the power 10. So how do we sum this? Well, if we look closely, we can see that this is a geometric series. It's a geometric series because we are multiplying each term by the constant value 2. We've got a common ratio r of 2. We also have then a first term a of 100 times just simply 2 to the power 1 or 100 times 2. And how many terms are there n? Well clearly there's going to be 10 terms through here so n is 10. Once we've got this, we should know that from the first part, the sum of the first n terms was given by the formula a times 1 minus r to the power n all over 1 minus r. So we can put these values into the formula here and we've got that this basically is the sum of the first 10 terms. So we're going to have a as being 100 times 2 Right. then it's going to be multiplied by 1 minus r to the power n so 1 minus r, r being 2 to the power n, n being 10 and then that's all divided by 1 minus r, 1 minus 2 and if you work this out on your calculator what you should find you get is 204600 204,600. Okay, so hope you've been able to follow that and that brings us to the end of this part of the question.